everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern, March 8, 2019, a Friday. Uh, in today's meditation, as we advance, expand, uh, connect, grow clearer uh, in this journey of ours. In the simplicity of all things, oftentimes we're confronted with things that, you know, unfortunately we, we extend with the mind to begin with and The mind is an emotion, the mind is black and white type situation because it's the, the emotion is the heart mind. And we become perplexed or befuddled from the perspective of not trying to complicate things, but we end up virtually end up doing the same thing that we don't care to do. So looking at everything from a perspective of being simple always always you know whatever the challenge or the obstacle is been presented you look at it from the standpoint of it's simple and you begin to think for yourself and you figure out the best possible route. Do you go through it? Do you go around it? Do you go over it? Do you go under it? Okay. Most times we, the, the depictions are, are really illusions that appear in 3D density that we feel are real. And then what happens is, is that unbeknownst to us, the mind starts conjuring and the ego starts conjuring all kinds of things that stick with you for, you know, two, three, four, five days, whatever, week, month. And, and it, un, unfortunately, as your, the, the attention is there and the fear base comes from the heart. See, that's what happens. And you start, your emotions are from the heart, the, the heart mind. And so you, you feel that uncomfortableness, discomfort. You feel... Uh, stress, you feel anxiety, and you are giving it energy, giving it attention, uh, feeding it. Now, most people don't know that, but they feed it, and so they're creating the very thing that they are fearing by giving it unnecessary energy for it to become a reality. See, so you can understand how imperative it is for each of us to be the masters and commanders at all times, be vigilant and aware of this tricking that comes in. Now, then the collective consciousness, the universe, comes in and gives you what you are spending your energies on. Okay? Now, in most scenarios, you worry, stress, and fear about something, and it never takes place. It never happens to fear in, in, into the fear that you have uh, generated. And, and, and you, you know, here, 99.9% .9 of the things we worry about never come to be. Something comes in to change it. And remember, every single second that we exist in these bodies is changing. Things can change so rapidly, so quickly, that it's a blink and it's already taken place. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that in your lives where 
one minute, everything seems a certain way. And the next minute, it is completely different. Completely. When you move yourself and you keep in motion and you identify your self, your being, who and what you are. And when you do this, you move into the moment, into the now, and you stay there. You stay in that. You move in it, round it, but you are in it. You're in the now. And when you're in the now, you then concentrate on joy, peace, prosperity, happiness, goodness. And this eliminates your wandering off into the, into the future, wandering off and worrying about things that haven't even come to be. Wandering off into the past, wandering off onto things that you have guilt about, or that you uh, feel bad about, or you have stresses about. These things, the past is over. The future is not here. The now is all that we have, is the now. And, I'm, and, and, and most people don't know this, but the future and the past, and the, all are happening in the now. So we stay in the now, and our fear is eliminated. You can see how simply that works. Oftentimes we gravitate into the future, and we fear, we create fear. And we, we generate these energies on a consistent basis. And the mind and the ego are there constantly chiding you and creating these stress factors that we embrace and we expand upon because we give it energy because the more you worry and stress and fear on something, you give it energy. Okay? Not to say that it isn't formidable at times. But once you become aware that eliminate fear, the elimination of fear, fear is a construct. Fear is what we create. Again, we go back to a child. Child has no fear. Until it gets to a certain point, it's taught certain things, then the fear is introduced to the child. Okay? Knowing is different than fear. So the child's educated, they said, you, that you tell the child, said, look, if you touch this burner, this is what will happen to you. You have a picture. This is what will happen to your skin if you touch that burner. So the burner is no. It's a no. It's something that will, will cause you pain and, and hurt you. Okay? This is knowledge. This is knowing. This is not fear. They say, okay, well, if I touch that, I'm going to burn myself, right? Not sitting there fearing it, but knowing. And this is the key, for us to know things. And when we know things, we don't have any fear because we have the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Ignorance is evil. So when you have the knowledge of something and you say, you, you maneuver it. I'm not going to walk through that 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 that, that landmine, that field of, of mines, because if I do, I trip one, it'll explode, and it will harm me or it'll end me. This is knowledge. So fear is conjured by our minds. It's conjured, and the ego plays a role. And once you know that, then you know how to com combat it, to eliminate it, to, to disperse it. So 
today's meditation is elimination of fear. So, if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, and which most of you probably already are. And as I talk, relax the body, drop the shoulders, eliminate the lower back stress, flow, ease, ease yourself. Picture yourself just floating effortlessly without restraint, without weight, without burden, without fear. Just flow. Totally surround yourself with a field of pure, deep, eternal love, happiness, joy, bliss. Feel it wave through you, flow through you. And as you're relaxing, you're going to want to breathe. You're going to breathe through your nose, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, you want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then you exhale through the mouth. While I'm talking, you want to do this at least six times. And as you're breathing in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. And that positive energy, as I've said before, always carries information, message. And it fills you with a knowing, a knowing that you are aware that you create your fear. You are aware of this, that you know that you are the progenitor of your fear. And the divine positive energy brings in confidence without ego, assuredness, support, care, understanding, strength, power, guidance. It's kind of like your mastership mentor that you breathe in. Always guiding and assisting and helping and giving input to you so that you're clear and you can navigate your starship flawlessly. So this, this breath in of divine positive energy fortifies you in knowing that you are a master and commander and you can eliminate fear through your heart-mind. It can be dispersed in a loving way vaporized, neutralized, and sent off for repurposing to the great central sun. Now, as you breathe out, you're breathing out fear-based thoughts. Fear. And with fear, you get anxiety. You get worry. You get stress. And these things harbor and expand and grow and grip on you. As they grip on you, they continually work on your biological, your physical form. And understand something. You are creating this. Nothing outside of you. This is, this is going on within you. Face the fear saturate and flood it with deep eternal love from the heart mind identify it ask yourself why would I feel this way what would be the worst case scenario for me and then at that point what would be the worst case scenario from there and this will answer your questions and it will answer your unknowing 
and it will educate you and it will magnify your knowledge. Do you breathe this out? This is something that we should do all the time when we when we literally conjure up these energies, these these effects. So you expel it. Now what we do is we all relax and we breath six or more times. We move into our heart mind. Our mind is about six inches down from where the base of the neck, where the two bones come together. Go down about six inches, that's your heart mind area. And as you go into the heart mind, you immediately are merged with your higher self, your higher self, your God spark, your soul, your spirit. It comes in immediately and greets you. It embraces you. It blends with you. And at this stage, you bring heaven to earth. Earth being the body, heaven being the spirit, the divinity within the body. You're fortified, you're elated, you are saturated with joy and happiness, bliss. And notice when this happens, you, all of your fears are eliminated. They're eliminated. You begin to flow and you feel yourself moving up and you your frequencies increase they continually increase you're in motion moving forward and moving deeply upward you're immersed in the emerald green flaming healing light of archangel raphael that energy field the flickering and glittering of the green mist you you you're, you're literally saturated with the golden white pink light of prime source creator god's deep eternal love it's flowing you're you are it and you're in it and with it and part of it the purple transmuting flame the violet ray the purple violet blue flame of archangel michael the white fire the violet ray all of these things over and over again as they immerse you and flood you and they are you. Arm in arm and hand in hand, we begin to we form our little circle of light and we begin to float up above the planet and it's effortlessly. We don't feel movement. We are the movement. So as we float up, we immediately call on all of the light energy beings in all dimensions and all densities and all universes and all existences of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and they come in the trillions. They flow in. Our circle of light expands exponentially and continues to expand as they come in. And the light is absolutely blinding, intense, the brightest, whitest light. And we lovingly, graciously thank them for joining us. We call upon all the archangels, the seraphim, the cherubim, the archetypes, all of the angels, to come and join us in this meditation at this time. And they flock in. They float right in. They connect with our circle of light. 
gladly. And numbers that cannot be counted. And they join hand in hand with us. And we layer the circle and it becomes multiple circles as it expands out and continues to grow exponentially. And the fire of light is expansive. And we are so happy and so grateful and thankful that they have joined us. And we feel their deep eternal love. And we're part of it. We are deep eternal love. <laughs> then we call upon all of the ascended masters. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha. Ganesh, Lakshmi, Amoria, Sananda, Jesus, we invite Yahweh, Yeshua, Gaia, Abundantia, we all of them flow in of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love and our circle just expands more and our light is brighter than all the suns in the universe. And we expand and we're so happy and grateful and we lovingly thank them for being with us in this meditation. We call upon all the Galactics who are assisting at this time in benevolence and in deep eternal love, this civilization of humanity and all the beings of this planet to free themselves of slavery, bondage, abuse, misuse, and deception. And also assisting us with our ascension and our brightness and our love of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love. And we lovingly, graciously thank them for joining us at this time in this meditation. We call upon all the inhabitants of inner earth and hollow earth of deep eternal love from deep eternal love to also join us in this meditation. And they do so gratefully and thankfully they are with us we call upon all of our loved ones who have passed in this life and all lifetimes that we've inhabited who are of deep eternal love from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and we are elated that they are with us and we lovingly, graciously thank them for doing so. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have chosen to be housed in the following forms at this time on this planet. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the trees, the elements, earth, air, fire, water, the pegasus, the unicorn, the mermaids, the dolphins, the whale. All in elation. All in deep eternal love. From deep eternal love. Joyously, gratefully thankful that they are with us in this meditation. We look up and we see the sphere that we created holding all of our meditations in perpetual motion. It floats directly above our circle. Our circle expands the universe outward beyond the Milky Way galaxy. Our light dims the sun. 
sun's light as far as its brightness. The darkness of space is now light. We saturate all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, in deep eternal love. We feel this energy. It moves us up. It lends us higher frequency existence. We feel this deep and powerful saturation of the greatest and most intense deep eternal love of all creation. We feel our fears disappear, vaporize from past, present, and future. They are totally eliminated, completely obliterated, completely eliminated, completely dispersed. If we look at the planet, we feel the rain coming down over our heads, saturating our heads, saturating our physical bodies, saturating our etheric bodies, flooding us with a deep eternal love and release from fear, complete release from fear, complete. When we find, as we look upon the planet, the lights are bright, we eliminate the fear, we disperse it upon, among all of humanity, all of the civilization. We neutralize this fear. It allows them to lift, to move into higher frequency, to feel the joy and the bliss that they truly are, and no longer entertain the fear of it being in the biological form. That we embrace our existence and the now, that we are released from our fears that we know we create and we begin to master and command our well-being and our happiness and joy and our elevation and higher harmo harmonious harmonious frequencies and we're in bliss because the fear has lifted we have eliminated it we can call in the purple transmuting flame robe of flame that saturates the entire civilization, the entire planet, and eliminates, saturates, and takes the fear, neutralizes it completely in the neutralite substance, and jets it away to the great central sun for repurposing. All of humanity. Elimination of fear. Elimination of degrading. Just replaced with pure, deep, deep, deep eternal love, joy, happiness, elation, samadhi, kundalini, and the utmost nirvana. We float effortlessly. We are love. We are joy. We are happiness. We are courage. We are confident confidence without fear and without ego feel it experience it with the entire populace of this planet also understand that the collective consciousness of all the universes is communicated this energy because we are part of it we call upon its energy of all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. And this energy is intensified. We have at our disposal, at our energy, all that there is. We move it. We are it. Be in the bliss from your heart mind. And watch as all of our brothers and sisters elevate, float, become in higher frequency, become in a higher, higher love and saturation and knowing 
And the fear is no longer here. I'll join you in the meditation and I'll return to close this out.
that you are in the mastership and command of eliminating fear and fear-based rooted systems and understanding the connection with your mind and conjuring these things up eliminate it gone disperse completely so take this feeling this energy and bring it back with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night and into the next morning this is how you identify the fear understand its origin and understand how to eliminate it as soon as it begins to grow within you we will have a call tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern on this line. This call is going to be about mastering and commanding our wealth, riches, prosperity, along with our responsibilities as masters and commanders of the proper distribution of such wealth and prosperity. We will cover many areas so I would suggest that you bring something to write with. And we will be back here tomorrow, Saturday, at 3 p.m. Eastern, March 9th, 2019.